I know you two. <laughs> you're all you're all ready for Christmas. Oh my god. I love your tree. That's so cute. <laughs> and you know what? It's from your movie, Christmas Chronicles Part Two. It's so perfect. I love Good it. To see you both again. Uh I love this movie. I watched it with my mom and we were both just, this really is something we needed right now, especially right now to put us in the spirit. But as I was thinking of questions, Goldie, uh, number one, happy early birthday in a couple of days. And number two, you both strike me as people that go full out decorations for the holidays. Am I right? Right. Yep. <laughs> You're right. Uh, no, no, no decoration is left unturned. Yeah. I mean, we, we, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and it's, and it's a tradition that we generally do the Christmas tree um, on Christmas Eve day. Uh, so it's a big number. Everybody has a part in putting up the tree. Oh yeah. That's that. But let me tell you the decorations before the tree, which that's I right, think which you, I'm not, you're not a part of. That's, <laughs> that's the Christmas tree is a piece. Oh, of you love to show them. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm right there with you. Uh, Kurt, is there a certain responsibility when you put on the suit as Santa Claus? 100%. Um, the first time I read it, I thought, man, I, I would love to do this because I would love to do my version of Santa Claus. Uh, I, this has the potential to do that. I love that I uh, get to spend time with Clay Cadis and Chris Columbus, who was producing the first one, uh, and, 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 find, uh, and find something that we felt could, could be very strong uh, and it was just a great process and it leaked over and it was successful, leaked over into uh, Christmas Chronicles 2. I love, I love what we can do here. I love what we're, what we're saying with, with these movies. Yeah. Well, the, uh, same question for you because you're just perfect as Mrs. Claus, even the way you work with the reindeer. No spoilers in this interview, but I can feel that you really take this role very serious. Am I right? Uh, you're right because she's, she is the mother figure. You know, she's a, she's a very maternal, a very loving character. And yet she has magical powers and is able to make children, you know, take away the frost and the, and, and the freezingness, uh, put clothes on them and, a, and just a swish of her finger. Uh, she's caring. Uh, and, and I think it is a, also a character that holds great responsibility um, to, you know, sort of uh, the, the heart of the home is the hearth, right? And uh, she's also an alchemist, right? So she, she puts things together, herbs and different kind of concoctions that actually can help people uh, feel better. And that's what I, I like about her. I have, I have to get this in, man. Um, your musical number at Boston Logan in the movie, dude, fantastic job. Tell me what it was like to film that. Thank you very much. It was, it's uh, worrisome. <laughs> but when you have Darlene Love, and you got Stevie Van Zandt writing a new song and you got Chris shooting it. Uh, you feel like you got a lot of help. And, uh, you know, as long as you don't lose the red suit, <laughs> you know, don't, look, don't listen too hard. Don't look too close. And I should point out, you weren't really, it's in the movie. You didn't go to Boston Logan Airport. People watching this right now, was he at the airport? Well, watch the movie, you'll know. Um, you both, I just absolutely adore and love you both so much. Happy holidays. Please stay safe. And I can't wait to see you both in person again. I just, I love you both so much. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you, you Merry so Christmas. much. And Merry yeah, everything. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Yourself. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Goldie. Thank you. <laughs>